Hey, fellow hobby watchmakers. Yeah. You guys know how it goes. You decide you want to try out watchmaking. You buy a few cheap tools. You buy a few more cheap tools. And then eventually, you are just going down the rabbit hole of accumulating watchmaking tools left and right. You need a crystal press. You need a case opener. You need a staking set. You need all kinds of things. Before you know it, the drawers are full with just watchmaking tools. This is a great hobby, but it definitely can also be a huge rabbit hole that we all go down and uh, we're trying to accumulate all those tools that we potentially could use in our newfound hobby watchmaking. This here in front of you is just a fraction of the things that I have in my drawer just to get this video started. I want to show you a tool that I uh, bought recently, actually not too recently, but I finally finished um, completing the set. It's an older crystal press made by GS. Uh, I think it's uh, Germanoff Simon. I'm I'm not sure if that's the uh, proper brand brand name or a company name, but yeah, this crystal press is uh, kind of universal. Uh, let me switch scene here and show you the crystal press that I have. Here's the crystal press that I bought off of eBay. Uh, it was around eighty bucks and um, slightly incomplete. Uh, all these aluminum parts here are adapter cups that you can use to uh, press various types of uh, crystals in. Um, GS is a manufacturer that makes a lot of crystals for all kinds of different applications and shapes and forms, uh, mostly acrylic or, or plastic crystals. Uh, but this crystal press can also be used to uh, push in mineral crystals or sapphire crystals. And... Um, I just went ahead and bought all the missing parts because GS as a company, even though this, this box here, as you can see, um, you know, has definitely been around the block a few times. And I don't know exactly when this was made, but I would guess probably in the 70s. Uh, so GS has been around as a uh, watch tool maker for a long while. And uh, they still make parts and they even still make the same crystal press so you can still get all the parts. So I looked on their webpage and uh, found exactly what I needed. So here's some of those uh, rubber plugs that I used to actually um, flex a, a acrylic crystal a little bit. So um, when, you, when you put it in under tension into a watch case or a bezel, uh, this here completely toast broken this one here kind of broken and then over here one of the adapter cups number five was missing everything else was present um, so then I just emailed them told them what I wanted uh, they told me oh yeah uh, we're still making those so and then suddenly this little package here arrived and suddenly oops sorry guys for bumping the microphone we have another plug number five this is this little puppy here so we can take the old one out put the new one in place and then this one here we also have a new one that's number three plug number three brand new there you go and then uh, adapter cup number five was missing and that goes right over there looks a little different it's a little shallower but uh i think the dimensions the outside dimensions are the same so now i have a full set and then additionally they have come out with a few more bits and pieces they have come out with these here they're kind of square with a uh, plastic uh covers on top and this is when you want to press um, a case backpack on or um, you know you, you just need some sort of support and the round cups just don't work for a certain watch maybe it is an odd shaped watch or uh, you know so maybe um, lug to lug 
the round ones will not not work or not fit properly you can use those square ones they have a set of four that I now can add here in the box I don't know exactly how I'm gonna add this to the to the box here and the other thing that uh, GS has come out with is a uh, little plastic inserts for the adapter cups so here's a bunch of those those plastic rings there's a number on the back this is 15 so we grab number 15 right over here and those plastic rings fit perfectly into those adapter cups they don't even fall out so this is to protect um, sensitive surfaces like a brand new crystal or your watch case um, so when you end, actually end up using this this crystal press here. Now I made it so hard for myself to even take the thing out. So we're taking this out real quick. I'll move this out of the way. So here's, uh, just as an example, a cheapo eBay watch that I just bought recently. It's an automatic. Uh, the movement in there is in dire need of some repair. But um, just to show you what this press can do you you pick a uh, adapter cup that fits the bottom of your case for example imagine this watch is taken apart the movement is out and you're just trying to press a new crystal in there so you pick an adapter cup that fits the bottom nice so it, it kind of centers it nicely and holds onto the case then you find a adapter cup maybe plus this plastic insert ring that fits the crystal relatively nicely. So uh, you have uh, more or less the same diameter as the crystal. And then you take your, your press here. You see this part falling out. This is pretty much the bottom uh, receiver of this adapter cup. So you just put the bottom adapter cup in there. And then the top goes into the press itself right here and it actually kind of there's a little I think there's a little detent ball in there that holds the thing in place and then after that you just put your watch on that adapter cup that fits it so nicely and then you can use the hand press to press your crystal in like that and uh, like I said you can also use this to uh, press a case back spec on so if it's a not screw in case back, but a, a press in case back. You can push that back on. And um, let me see if I have a crystal lying around. So now imagine you have a acrylic crystal like this one here. It's uh, slightly domed. Um, and it's supposed to go in a, with a little bit of some tension. You can remove the bottom adapter cup and replace it with one of those rubber plugs that I have. There are six different sizes. Took me a little while to count. Then you can put your acrylic crystal onto the rubber plug. And then you still have a matching uh, adapter cup with this plastic insert at the very top. Now imagine we have a watch case put over the plug first. So you put your watch case in here first. Then put the crystal over top of it. And then just with your hand strength with this uh, press, you can flex the crystal a little bit, which will cause the outside diameter to shrink ever so slightly. Once you have it flexed or uh, pushed down a little bit, you take your case, slide it over the edge of the crystal, and then release the tension. And that will lock this... Um, acrylic crystal into the case with a little bit of some tension to it so this um this pretty simple tool here with those very nicely made adapter cups that fit in here really well and um uh, uh, giving your watch a really nice support has uh, quite a few different uses and um if you start looking into this uh, you will notice that there are a lot of different types of acrylic crystal replacements with tension rings with reflector rings 
um, the company was so nice to uh, print off copies of all their instruction manuals. I'll just uh, show you that real quick. So they they gave me um, they gave me all their instruction manuals. There is another uh, uh, accessory to this press, which are reversible blocks that I don't have which you don't necessarily need, but um, here you can see they actually put the uh, rubber plug at the very top and then the crystal below that, and then they uh, squeeze the crystal to deform it and then put the bezel, and the bezel is the part that then clicks onto your case. Uh, for example, in, in a, a lot of older pocket watches that was used. Here's also uh, some other tools mentioned, a crystal lift, which I don't have yet, another tool that I need to buy. Then, of course, um, they always refer to their press as a bezel ring, bezel type, a reflector ring type. So a bunch of different uses. Um, if I remember correctly, there was a page where they actually describe what kind of crystals they have. So there is an ET crystal with regular style rings are the most widely used ring type crystal. ST crystals with step style rings are used where a step undercut or groove in ring is necessary. MT crystals, DT crystals, AT crystals, TT crystals, and so on. There's also mineral glass crystals are used where a glass crystal is preferred. And so uh, this tool with all its uh, little accessories and nowadays with those plastic inserts, um, they came up with that to avoid the chance that this adapter ring or this adapter cup will scratch up the new crystal. So they came up with those plastic inserts. And uh, yeah, like I said, for crystal installation and for case spec installation, this thing is perfect. Could still use a little bit of some cleanup here. Um, I wish there would be a manufacturer's date on here. I, I kind of like used old tools as long as they still have a function. And this thing here definitely still fulfills its purpose. That's why I bought this old kit from from eBay for 80 bucks. You can still buy this brand new with all the accessories. Um, I think you are in the $400 range. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, so this is a, a GS, a German of Simon Press, Rochester, New York. That's where the company is located. And um, they have a selection, a huge selection of crystals for all kinds of pocket watches and watches and uh, cool tool. And this is a vintage tool at the same time and they still make parts for it. All right, check it out online. Um, you can find them on eBay all over the place and uh, get yourself one. Take care.